Shahid ya que me di ya gelir un mabrokan. Skal se lir un mabates que no de takan Architecture should be echoing the place and should be for the people um, and the communities that are actually around you and bring art to those people as well. The art of architecture has been seen as a luxury in this country. Um, it's not. It should be architecture for everyone, not for um, just the few who can afford it. Buildings should reflect the site they're on. They should use the materials from around those buildings, which is why I relate um, particularly to conservation, the vernacular, and try and learn from the past. Yorkshire-born architect Stuart Bagshaw has lived and worked in the Outer Hebrides off the west coast of Scotland for the past 35 years. During that time, he has become recognised as the leading figure in the revival of vernacular building styles in the Western Isles. His buildings use materials sourced from the immediate area around the site and they draw on forgotten traditional construction techniques, while at the same time being modern, low-carbon, energy-efficient buildings. I believe that architecture very much has a capital A, that it is an art form in itself. And so I always try with a grand idea about how it's going to look and how it's going to fit and how it's going to be in the environment. Whether it's urban or rural, it's how it fits with its neighbours and how it feels comfortable. And it, it should always improve with the action of time. Basically, the idea of Blue Reef was to intervene into the landscape as little as possible. So I came up with the idea of simply lifting the macker up, and the slope on the side was about 10 degrees, so I lifted the macker up and simply slipped a building in underneath it. And that's where I started investigating turf roofs initially. The whole concept of doing that then led to a design form which echoes back to the black houses in that they, they're creating a, a silent um, place in when there's a gale howling outside then you've got quiet inside. Turf had been used in similar areas like um, Orkney that have a similar climate to ourselves so I didn't feel it was too alien to do that. Bagshaw adopts a broadly similar approach to designing each of his buildings, taking into account the specific environmental context in which each structure is located. This includes an analysis of the direction from which the prevailing wind blows, where the best views are, and where the sun is during the morning, at midday, and in the afternoon. He also makes a detailed assessment of what potential building materials can be sourced from the immediate vicinity of the construction site. The traditional black house or the thatched houses of the island were built originally from stones that were cleared from the 
um, the fields and um, so they were naturally round stones and if you go with the philosophy of using materials which are low energy and improve with the action of time there's no better way than using the natural stones and boulders. I've been trying to use larger stones and larger boulders for a very long time. It's actually finding people who are skilled enough to use them. The idea of Rock Cottage was to actually emulate the striated sort of rock terracing, if you like, with the building and make the building blend into that natural rock terracing to actually use large stones so that the whole thing would look very much part of the landscape. The tower at Borv differs from many of Bagshaw's buildings in that it doesn't overtly attempt to blend in with the surrounding landscape. When it's completed, it'll be covered with a layer of dry stone walling, and the design echoes back to the walled towers or brochs, which are among Scotland's oldest buildings and which date back to the Iron Age. The brock is um, a contradiction in many ways in that I was trying to find a form that, that blended into the landscape and brocks have been around for centuries as defensive establishments and really what I was trying to do was to um, for the first time make a statement with a building but a building that was sympathetic with its surroundings and again would look better with the action of time. Stuart Bagshaw's best-known building is the award-winning Black Sheep House. Built on the ruins of an old black house, it combines high-tech, environmentally friendly heating and insulation systems with traditional vernacular building techniques. It's also an example of how Bagshaw draws on a wide range of building styles and technologies in order to produce highly individual and coherent works of art. Architecture is such a an art form in itself, that the, the whole brain works together to create a very large sculptural form in the landscape. And the way the old thatched houses and traditional houses perform in this climate gives you an opportunity to use traditional forms and yet be aerodynamic and sculptural. From very simple exteriors, you can create amazingly sculptural forms internally if you can imagine that space when you're creating it and using the light and the space and the form. It's really convincing the client that they need no more decoration. You don't need fancy wallpapers or anything else. The building form internally works for itself. using very traditional materials. We always try to use materials which give a low carbon footprint and as are energy conscious as possible. Bagshaw's approach to architecture extends far beyond the actual building itself. Integral to his practice is the development of a workforce skilled in the use of traditional materials. We have a lot of skills that have been taught out of people. Now we've got so many machines and we seem to be able to build less. We're losing the crafts. We have uh, a lot of human resources that aren't being used properly because people don't know how to use their hands anymore. We 
we actually trained 10 people in Harris on the McGillivray Centre and we took 10 long-term unemployed and trained them in the use of stonework and 8 out of the 10 got full-time jobs and 2 started their own businesses. So we, we encouraged training that way. The more we can learn through conservation and active conservation about the traditional materials we use, the better it will be. Um, and we can then create buildings that are using these materials um, that are totally ecologically friendly um, and we can create modern buildings with them. We don't have to stay in the past. From his practice in Stornoway on the Isle of Lewis, Stuart Bagshaw continues to develop new projects in and around the Hebrides, each with the same focus on the local environment, the use of traditional materials and building techniques, and each examining the way in which the buildings contribute to and support local communities. The planned community centre on the island of Kerrera brings together many of the ideas that Bagshaw has developed in his individual buildings and applies them to a community-wide structure, which includes living spaces, recreational areas, a shop and a school, as well as dedicated areas for medical and emergency services. Ullapool, one of the principal ferry ports connecting the Scottish mainland to the islands, he plans to build a whale-shaped passenger walkway, which not only reflects the close relationship between boat building and house building in the Western Isles, but which also echoes the roofs of traditional Hebridean houses, which would sometimes use whale bones when conventional roofing timbers were not available. I played with the idea of building it with bronze and oak and involving the local schools and the community in building it so there would be a pride within the community of building the structure and also trying to involve the local artists and that sort of thing. And night shots were quite important because you could then light it up at night and it could become a tourist attraction in itself. So it wasn't really any more just a shelter, it was a, almost an iconic structure which people would come and see. It's the whole thing and architecture to me is the whole environment, it's the whole of life. You should be interested in ecology, in making things biodiverse, so you're creating natural habitats, you're, you're encouraging the sense of place, you're encouraging local identity um, and you're encouraging pride and pride in your environment. Mm -hmm.